Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to present our humble work to solve the problem of profiling fake news spreaders on Twitter. One of my team's members told me that this problem could be solved with a simple text classification approach and that's what we did. So, in this presentation, I'm going to talk in briefly about fake news by giving some examples showing the characteristics and problems and the solution that can be chosen to tackle this problem. We also describe the experiments and the results that we found. To describe the task introduced in this lab, the following question may be asked. Is it possible to detect fake news spreaders based on their profile? We need to detect fake news because they can cause several problems, for example like in presidential election of the US in 2016, public health like in the time of coronavirus, commerce like in the boss market, and security. If we want to avoid these problems, we must eliminate fake news, but the question is how to and who decide which is real and which is fake? To answer this question, we can report, checking facts and profiling users who reported the news. So, if a user has previously dealt with fake news, we can assume that he will report fake news in the future also. Before explaining our proposed approach, we summarize the characteristics of the used corpora in this table. We report the statistics of these corpora regarding English and Spanish. Both contain 300 XML files for 300 authors having 100 tweets per author, which means 30,000 sentences per corpus. The total number of words is around 770,000 for English and 787,000 for Spanish. As we pointed out at the start of this presentation, we have opted for a simple classification approach divided into four main phases. First, pre-processing stage, morphological processing, feature extraction, training and testing the classification model. In the first stage, we conducted the surface pre-processing steps, where we read XML files by the XML API followed by removing emojis using specified rules and removing stop words for English and Spanish using NLTK stop words list. Finally, we save the output as clean text. In the second stage, we apply three morphological processing steps. The first process is lemmatization using the WordNet lemmatizer. The second process is about using the NLTK snowball stammer. The third process is to apply part of speech tagging using the NLTK post tagger. Finally, we concatenate the four outputs clean text, lamp text, stamp text, and post tag text. In the third stage, we extracted the features used to train our model. We used the TFIDF model and its internal analyzer properties word, character, and character with boundary. Finally, we concatenated these three features using the feature union function of the sklearn library. We split the training data into two sets to validate our approach. 80% for training, corresponding to 240 XML documents, and 20% for development. We tried different classifiers, linear support vector classification, linear SVM with stochastic gradient descent and rich classifier. The results are presented in this table where we can note some perfect scores reaching 100% with the LSVC and SGD classifiers for both English and Spanish. It's obvious that there is an overfitting. In the test phase, we retrained our model on the total training data and tested it on the provided test data. By comparing the results, we notice clearly that the LSVC model performance dropped by 41% and 24% for English and Spanish, respectively. The RDG classifier is more or less efficient since the recorded score for Spanish was 76% and for English 61%. The reason behind these results is likely the lack of data. In this work, 
We presented our approach for identifying authors that tend to spread fake news. We carried out many experiments that led us to select the best features, composed of a union of three TF-IDF features, in addition to three important morphological features, stemming, lemmatization, and part of speech tagging. Our system achieved an F1 score of 76% for Spanish and 58% for English, which can be improved by increasing the size of the dataset. Thank you for your attention.